everyone! Happy New Year! So today I will be doing a celebrity perfume collection. So the last time I did this was two years ago and it was one of my first videos. So over the years, I have added some and decluttered a few but it is not a lot. For an average perfume, perfume user, maybe it's a lot but for a collector, it is not. Maybe for some in two years, they have already like about hundreds but this one is not but i can tell that they are newer ones compared to um on the last video so if you're interested i will put the link on that video in the description box and to those that are in there that is no longer here in this video that means they are decluttered already they have retired so first is britney spears midnight fantasy yes she's still here after two years and i still like it I love to wear this one in colder weather although it's a fruity scent but to me i find it too strong on hot weather i enjoy wearing this on colder days and next is um katy perry's royal revolution so this one is one of the first um, celebrity perfumes that i have too and i have been wearing this one lately i really like the smell i have been attempting to declutter this many times but i end up no, I like the scent. The only thing I hate about it is it does not last a um, long time. That's why I don't wear this one when I go out. And I cannot bring this to my in my bag or purse because as you can see, the bottle. But the scent, oh, I love it. So that's um, Katy Perry's Royal Revolution. And next is Sofia Vergara's Love. Another favorite celebrity scent of mine. This one. Hmm, still love that jammy donut scent very delicious and another one is um jessica simpson's fantasy fancy sorry so fancy by jessica simpson so i haven't worn this one lately especially now it's summer so i might be wearing this one again during colder days but um few years back this is like my go-to everyday scent hmm. You know when you don't wear perfume anymore but every time you smell it it will still it will give you that nostalgia that and then katie perry's um meow so this one i had this one over a year ago and another perfume that i have been wearing as well <laughs> almost every day i don't wear this one more often now but i still love the scent same as jessica simpson's fancy every time i smell it like why I didn't wear this one anymore? <laughs> so addicting. I love that caramel um, apple candy scent. I don't know, but that's what it reminds me of every time. And I like the bottle. It's so cute. But the M in there is for meow, but it's like for my name. <laughs> and then the other one is Katy Perry's um, Purr. So this one, I just bought this one just to pair it with this. But surprisingly, I enjoy the scent. It's different from Meow. Meow is very sweet, a bit of a, like a youthful scent. But this one is more clean, a little sophisticated than Meow. It's different, clean, soapy. I like this one as well. So next is Mariah Carey's M, also M. So one of the viewers suggested this to me. So when I saw this in the shop, I got it and I did not regret. I know this is not for everyone. It has a mix review some people hate it but me i love it i'm just lucky that it happens that i enjoy the scent to me it's more of like a marshmallow yet smoky scent it is not your really sweet at first i was thinking that it's like one of those celebrity scents. it is very sweet gourmand marshmallow -y scent this way it has a marshmallow but it's more of like a marshmallow in a bonfire it has that smoky scent perhaps of the incense in this one it's sweet but a little bit mature sophisticated to me a bit salty as well it's i could imagine this one a bonfire near the beach and another older perfume that i have is J Lo's glow so this one is a 50 ml bottle and i have used more than half of it already so i stopped wearing this one as well for a while now but this one is more of like a soapy rosy scent it really smells like a soap so i like to wear this one when I'm at home. Also like about bedtime, it feels like it's a bit relaxing, it's clean, it's just like you just um, went out for a shower. This one is a warm scent to me. It's not a fresh, clean, soapy scent, but more of like a warm, rosy, um, scented soap. And another one from Jennifer Lopez is Steel. This one, I really like it. This is a blind buy too. Almost all of these are blind buy and this one, 
I did not regret. I was thinking why I only buy this one now. This is an older perfume as well, but I haven't heard of it. But I just tried my luck when I bought this one in store and I really, really love it. I have been looking for this scent. I can smell this from other people, but I don't know what perfume is that. And I smell it. Oh, this is the one that I could always smell. I'm not sure if it's exactly the same perfume they're using, but the scent, it is the one that I'm looking for. Reminds me of like um rose petal. It's like you are surrounded by or showered by rose, um not really rose but like flower petals. There's a bit of like um watermelon, not watermelon cucumber scent on it as well. It's clean, it's a bit flirty to me and a girly scent. I like to wear it, but I don't find it too like youthful or kiddie scent as well. This is more of like a floral scent to me, a fresh, clean floral scent. So next, another favorite celebrity perfume of mine, and this is Crush by Rihanna. I feel like this is an underrated celebrity perfume, but I totally love it from the beginning that I got it. This one is one of the first celebrity perfumes that I have as well, together with Britney Spears', Britney Spears Midnight Fantasy, but I never get tired of this one. I, it originally comes in a mini version, but when I finish it, I this is the only perfume I remember that I bought the bigger bottle because I love it. So I can't explain how it smells like exactly. It doesn't have, I don't smell this one in any other perfumes that I have, whether celebrity or designer fragrance. I find this one sweet but not gourmand. It's a bit more of like a sweet floral scent, fresh as well. And it is like, there is an orange scent in there. It turns into something clean and floral as well. And it becomes powdery in the dry down and it lasts really long it lasts me like 88 hours or more and in that time that becomes powdery already and next one is jessica parker's lovely so this cute 30 ml bottle in here i love this one very clean so it has lavender in it i don't like lavender in a perfume but surprisingly i like this perfume i the lavender in here does not bother me it smells to me like a clean linen and reminds me as well of um, Narciso Rodriguez um, for her perfume. So with Crush, I also have the smaller version of Rihanna's Kiss and Riri. So I like them both. Riri to me reminds me of like a kiddie perfume. It really smells like a powdered candy to me. So it's nice if I think kids can wear this things or if you are working around children, it smells really like candy, powdered candy. But I like it. I don't. It doesn't bother bother me at all. And Kiss as well. This one has a bubble gummy scent to it. I like it. And for some reason, reminds me a little bit of Alien, which is amazing. So I love wearing this one. This is Kiss by Rihanna. And then I have Justin Bieber's Collector's Edition. So that's the name of the perfume, Collector's Edition. So I was supposed to buy the key because the key bottle looks like this one. But I noticed when I got it, it's different. The key, it has a key, actual key in it but this one is different it's round so i thought it's a different packaging but actually it's a different perfume this one is a collector's edition so that's how the bottle looks like i like it. it's actually cool though this is like a frosted glass with this gold something in there and this one this one is removable so it says something here you're all that matters to me jb for justin bieber and in fairness perfume is not bad it's sweet it's clean. It has that nutty scent in it as well. I actually like it. And then I have Ariana Grande's Moonlight. So this one, look at the packaging. I like the bottle. Even without the pom-pom in it. I think it's very cute. So this one, I love the scent but not that happy because it reminds me that it has a similar scent in one of my perfume and it's actually another celebrity perfume and i realized it's this one so they are really sim similar to me and i don't like if i have two perfumes that are similar scent so both of these are uh, i mean this one is a blind buy so i didn't know but perfume is good if you don't have this then you might enjoy this one as well sweet marshmallow -y perfume like a candy scent then another Ariana Grande. This is her new one. This is God is a Woman perfume. This one here. And it is, look at the bottle. The actual bottle is very simple. It reminds me, it has a mixture of 
um, cloud. This one, I actually like it. Since I don't have the actual cloud perfume, I have sampled it before, but I don't have the actual perfume, so I'm glad that it smells a bit like cloud. Next perfume is um, Paris Hilton's Lux Rush. This one, I have mentioned this one a lot in my videos as well because obviously I like it. So this is the first um, Paris Hilton in, his, in her um, Rush collection. I think they have, he has a gold one, it's a rose one. There's a lot of variation of this one and I wanted to get those as well. But this is the first one that I have and I did not regret that I have it. Such a beautiful bottle and the scent as well. Super. I've mentioned this one a lot as, as I've said in the video. Smells a bit like a bergamot and there's some milk in there as well. Very clean scent too. Reminds me of like a bit of like a soap in it and very long lasting for a celebrity fragrance. And then I have Kim Kardashian EDP. The first Kim Kardashian perfume that I have and Unfortunately, I got disappointed. A lot of people love this one. It got good reviews. That's why I bought it blind buy, but I did not like it. I can't stand the white flowers in it, the jasmine or the tube rose. So I might be giving this one away or sell it because I don't like it. It really smells like jasmine. Some pagita scent. Yeah, that one. So I've only worn this one once when the time I got it. I mean, I tried it, but after that, no. And then I have um, Beyonce, Beyonce's Heat Kiss, this one. So this is also the first, um, yeah, first Beyonce perfume that I have. And the only one in this um, line as well. But I did not regret getting it. This is a blind buy too, but I do really love it. It is sweet, it's like a marshmallow. There's a marshmallow scent in there as well. And there's like a mango in it. It doesn't say, I forgot if it's in the notes but i could smell like a mango shake in here that's why i like the scent so that's how the bottle looks like there and it's there nice looking but i don't like to use it it's hard to like so that's the only thing the design of the bottle i didn't like it but the smell is such smell is great and then i have um glamorous from bench so this one is actually a local perfume from the Philippines um, from um, celebrity in there and Curtis Glamorous but this is an old one they say that it's no longer available at the moment but I'm so I'm glad that I got it before it's ways out but this one is good this is it reminds me of a very light watery version of pink sugar so pink sugar that is not so sugary a little bit of a bland pink sugar that's what it reminds me which i like because whenever i don't like to wear something really sweet sweet but not too sweet and this one is good especially in a hot place like philippines and i have this small bottle also perfume by paris hilton this one is can can burlis this is from her older um perfumes perfume lines and this one is can can and Eris and i have here paris hilton edp so this one are nice but more of like a useful scent i like the rush one better i think those are her um newer lines so that's it from my celebrity perfume collection so i do hope you enjoy it and if you're interested to know more of any of this i will put the link in the description box for some that i could that i have reviewed individually and that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.